Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing this vintage Patek Philippe reference 3565 on full mesh-style Milanese gold bracelet. Now, you can see this watch and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this vintage automatic Patek Philippe with additional accessories included in the sale. High resolution images for your desktop, and naturally, complete pricing details for this 35 millimeter, 18 karat gold, vintage Patek Philippe. Now the watch on my wrist is lugless and 35 millimeters round, which means quite literally, extremity to extremity, this watch is going to measure 35 millimeters, and across the case, not inclusive of the crown, that's right, it's 35 millimeters. In terms of thickness, the vintage style plexi adds a little bit of loft. Nevertheless, you're talking 9.6 millimeters in total thickness with generous case flank slope, so the watch slides easily underneath a dress cuff. This is a watch that wears its gold with elegance, panache, and taste. Now, colored gold in large cases, especially contemporary oversized cases, can visually overwhelm. I find that it's at its best in vintage applications of traditional size. And though this watch is 35 millimeters, it has no lack of wrist presence. This in large part thanks to the almost perfect proportions, but also because the bracelet itself visually extends the gold mass of the case. It is wonderfully supple. It's also in excellent condition. There are no kinks. There are no gouged points. Nothing has worn down. Nothing has stretched. Nothing has been deformed. Everything is as it left the factory, and the feeling is almost of silk, but with more mass and just as much class. Now you can see it is a 750 18 karat gold buckle with the exception of a small retaining piece that holds the bracelet secure once you've fitted it. That's the only part of the bracelet and the buckle assembly that is not 18 karat yellow gold to match the case. And that case is shapely. As you can see, this one survived largely intact. If it's ever been refinished, it was minimal, as all of the edges are sharp, the creases are distinct, no portion of the case is deformed, there are no dents, there are no scuffs, there's no evidence of filling or refinishing in any respect, everything looking as it did when it left Geneva in the late 1960s, early 1970s, the vintage for this reference. Now the dial is just as clean. Beautiful, transferred, stylized black Roman numerals. You can see a traditional and very, I would say, petite, tasteful, and discreet Patek Philippe Genève signature at 12 o'clock, and a simple and honest aperture for the date at 3 o'clock. While it may be a formal watch and thus not luminescent, it does give you the convenience of a date. The baton hands at center, classic, simple, everything you need, nothing you don't. Underneath the case back, automatic winding caliber 27460, one of the best ever, 37 joules. It has a vintage style beat rate of 19,800 that was more common during the 60s and 70s than it was before or has been since. So it has a nice charming old school cadence to it against the ear. Again, 37 joules, richly appointed. Not excessively thick, not excessively thin at 4.6 millimeters thick. It has a refreshing substance to it, as most vintage movements aren't quite this substantial. 27 millimeters across means it pretty much fills the entirety of this case. And if you were to look at it, the finish is gorgeous. Geneva seal, double stamped, absolutely beautiful, and this one again, substantially unmolested inside and out. This is a great way to take vintage flair, but wear it with, I would say, the reliability that comes with a watch that you know is still serviceable at the manufacturer that made it. One of the pitfalls of vintage is oftentimes you're looking at brands that have lapsed and no longer existed, and you're at the mercy of finding specialists qualified to service, much less provide parts. The nice thing about wearing a vintage Patek Philippe is that it's as serviceable today as it was the day it rolled out of the factory. You can see and you can purchase this extraordinary automatic winding 18 karat yellow gold survivor on our website.